Hello guys, what's up? Welcome to the new tutorial from the uh, SketchUp Arc Studio. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can create some realistic render at night with Enscape 3.5. So before we start this tutorial, please like and subscribe our YouTube channel and let's get to work. So this tutorial is completely related to the uh, professional rendering at night with Enscape. So we have some simple modern house in here and you can see the design of it. I will upload the file of it below this video so you can download it very simple and easy. First of all, the first part of this tutorial related to the uh, how we can create the spotlights in Enscape. So in here I have some type of cut in this place and some cut edges in these staircases. So. I want to create my lights but I don't know how. For this reason, first of all I will press Ctrl and S to save my file because sometimes Enscape will be jump out from the software at the lighting mode. So I will click on the Enscape objects in here and click on the spotlight in this place. So I want to have some light in this direction so I will left click on it, another left click, another one and another one. Now we create our light very simple and easy, but I want to load one of my lights. So I will click on the load IES profile and select one of these profiles, for example, number five and add some type of luminous intensity about 20 candela. So I will close it and click on the move option and move it from this edge to this point. And another time I want to click on the flip option press Ctrl and take another copy on the flip mode so I will move it next to it and in front of it so like that I want to select both of them and take some multi copies in some same directions so I will take this copy very simple and easy so now the lights generated for us another lighting related to this part of my house so I will click on the Enscape object again, like that, click on the spotlight, this time I want to these type of lights in here, so I can click on the load IES profile, but this time I can use for example number 16 as my professional IES light, but I don't know how it's luminous. So I will decrease it or increase it to the 30 candela and move it to this part of my job something like that all right <laughs> after that I can move it a little bit to this place about 0 0.26 meter and type 4x for it so the lighting in here done for us now I want to select all of them click on the flip option and take some flip copy in here and move it on the uh, blue axis in some place like that so I can move it in this part of my house very simple and easy and the lighting's done for me right now so I want to click on the night number one in my scene shots and you can see this result in here I created with the Enscape camera so I will start Enscape before I start Enscape I want to click on the general setting and check the NVIDIA denoiser for my better result of the rendering. So I will check it and close it and click on the start Enscape in here. It takes a little bit time and it depends on your systems and objects or assets you place in your environment. So I create scene night number one before this tutorial and the creating camera is really simple and easy. If you don't know how to create the uh, camera shot in Enscape, you can watch my tutorial about the uh, best frame for the uh, camera and rendering. So this is the environment that we have in here with all of the lights and assets. So I want to minimize this job in here and click on the uh, SketchUp. So first of all, in the Enscape environment, I want to click on the save frame and click on the uh, visual setting. So my projection is the one point perspective, but we have this type of horizon and landscape. So I don't like it for this type of reasons. I want to change my projection to the two point perspective. Now we have better view of our job. So all of these lights you can see in here related to the spotlight and it's not really hard work to generate them. 
you only need to do this job I do it at the first of this video so first of all I'm going to close the uh, Enscape visual setting so I will minimize the Enscape at my right screen and the left side we have a SketchUp so I want to click on one of these lights in here like that very simple and click on the Enscape objects and try to increase the intensity of the slides about 100 and you can see the result in here very simple and easy something like that so as you can see it's really helpful in our 3d renderings and 3d jobs so i increase these slides right now and it's really good work for me so i can select all of them in here because i have some work with them and move them a little bit on this face to have some clear light about my job. So, another lights I need to check out these lights in here. So, I want to move the camera on them and I want to increase the intensity about some number about 88 candela. As you can see, the result of it, not bad, good. And another light we need is these wall lights. But before I increase these wall lights, the point is that you can increase all of them at the visual setting, atmosphere, and artificial light brightness. But right now, because this is the tutorial video, I only want to show you how you can play with the lights in Enscape. So, till now, the job is something like that. If you like this video, please subscribe our YouTube channel. Let's get to work at the continue. So, in here, I have some type of wall lights like that. You can see the result of them, very simple and easy, something like this. And I want to relight them at the Enscape object and increase them about 56 candela. And the light power is much better. And you can see the texture intensity and displacement map on this plaster. And the detail of it is really wonderful. So about the interior lighting, we have some GI calculations. So when I get entered to this house, you can see some three sphere lights in there, but it's not important because it's only play the uh, background lights, but I want to check them for better result in my rendering. So I select one of them and decrease the aluminum's intensity about 444 candela. Now you can see the result, much smoother, much better, and it's really good for my job. But this time, about interior lighting, I can go a little bit near to this dining room in here and click on these lighting displays and increase the intensity of it, something like that. You can see the final result, not bad, very good, but I can increase it much more, about 600 candela, and the result is something like that, and it's really good. So. I think all of the lights done for me, but I need some hidden lights for my job. So, as you can see, for the hidden lights, we can convert textures to the self-illuminated lights. So, I have some type of hidden light in here, and these ball lights in the environment. So, as you can see, I want to start my job with this edge in here, and I want to click on the Enscape Material Editor. The Thetal HL is my hide light for now. So I can change the color of it to the white and change the type of it to the uh, self-illuminated. As you can see, some luminous power about 5000 candela per meter can reduce for us, but I can change it to the 1000 candela per meter and the result is some type of line light like that and it's really good for my job. So another lights we need is the ball lights. So how I can turn them on, very simple. I can click on the ball light in here and change the type of it from generic to the two point or self illuminated light. So, as you can see, now we have better view of this lights in our environment and it really works good for me right now. I can click on the colors advanced mode and paste this type of code on the color code in here and Ctrl V and press enter. Now we have these type of lights and it's really wonderful, very clear and sharp, works like the V-Ray Fix and it's really wonderful. So I will close it in here right now and I have some problem with this roof lights 
because when I go to the inside of this roof, I can select these sphere light, click on the uh, landscape objects, and reduce the luminous intensity about some number, for example, 500 candela. So now we have better lighting in here, but I can change the color of it. So I really like these colors in my environment. So I can click on the paint bucket, click on the in model, pick up the ball light and add it to my sphere lights. Very simple and easy and useful like that. So as you can see, we create this type of lighting, I think under than 10 minutes. And it's really wonderful because Enscape is one of the fast rendering engines. So we have some another lights in here, but these lights work as the uh, wall lights and both of them like that. So I only can change the color of them, but right now it's not necessary. So I will click on the night one in here and the Enscape will came back to the uh, default scene that I created. So now time for the uh, rendering. I can click on the uh, projection and change it to the two-point perspective. So for this reason, I'm going to click on the visual setting and increase the rendering quality to the high mode. So we have some darkness inside of this house, so I can fix it. How? I can click on the atmosphere and increase the artificial light brightness. And you can see at the interior, we have some improvements about the exposure and lighting. So 146% is the best number for these type of results. And you can see the change is very simple and easy. So for now, I'm going to click on the main bar in here. Save frame is on for me. I can increase the exposure a little bit, about 56%. And I want to focus on this house Something like that, for example, about 80 degree. And depth of field is really important at the lighting mode. So I can click on the depth of field to activate it and turn off the autofocus and play with the focal point to reach to the best result of my job. So I only want to focus on this house and the women. So I can move and hold my focal point on the 14.30 meter and increase the depth of field. When I increase the depth of field, look at these lights. These lights will be getting the blur bodies and areas in my render, and it's really wonderful. So when I increase it, they will convert to the bokehs. So I can change it to the 38%, and you can see the result of it. It's really nice working, very smooth for the uh, amateurs. So start Enscape right now if you want to reach to the best result about 3D rendering. So everything is for me good right now and I only want to relight my screen but I don't know how. Very simple. I can minimize the uh, Enscape in here, click on this light in here and take some copies in this place. So you can see the result of it. It's really wonderful. It works good. And I really enjoy when I work with these lights. So I can right click on it and convert it to the make unique because all of these lights are the one component. And when we change one of them, all of them change at the same time. So I will change it to the make unique, click on the landscape objects and reduce the uh, intensity of it with the set value about 28 candela. So something like that is good. So I will take some multi copies in each one meter and I think something about seven time can be good and the result is something like that so I will maximize the landscape in here right now and click on the uh, visual setting so exposure is good for me and in the image bar I can use the auto contrast for the uh, saturation and color temperature I will talk about it few seconds later so lens blur and bloom when I increase the lens flare in here you can see some type of shaded lights in this place so some number about 78 can be really good and if I increase the bloom option to the 24 I can see the graphical changes in here and it's really wonderful so for the Vignate I can reduce it to the 12 and chromatic abbreviation is zero so 
Motion blur is not useful, so I will turn it off, but saturation and color temperature. So, before I set these two values at the uh, skybox, I will reduce and change the uh, quality of the uh, clouds. For example, count layer is about zero, source amount is about zero, and variety is about zero, so I completely need some type of clear sky like that. So, at the uh, atmosphere, I can increase the uh, fog option, and I need some type of foggy at the uh, background, so I will increase the uh, fog intensity to the uh, 56%, and the height of it is about 100 meter. So you can see some type of darkness at the background and it really works good. So some brightness not useful, so I will turn it off to the zero and night sky brightness is really important in here. When I increase in night sky brightness, I can see some type of small changes in my sky and some number about 266% is good shadow sharpness is about zero because at nights we usually have some type of soft shadows and we don't have any type of obstacles in this environment ambient brightness it's about interior light and set it with the outdoor light so i will increase it to the 88 percent to better result in here and wind is not important so image bar i think needs some changes in saturation and color temperature so, if I want some warm render, I can decrease the color temperature and the result is something like that and it's a little bit artificial. So, 6000 Kelvinia is really good, but saturation can be increased to the 102%. So, everything is done for me right now. I only want to hold shift and right click and play with the uh, time of the day to reach to the best result, something like that and everything is done for me right now so i need some outlines for my job so i can increase the outline about eight percent for better result at the final rendering and i can in decrease the time of the day about 5 50 a.m so i can resize the uh, landscape at the right side of my screen and time for other options. So I can select these light, move it in this place, and convert it to the unique light and click on the Enscape objects. So when I increase the lumions upper than 100, for example, 144, I can see some changes in here and it's really good for my job. So. I think it's good for me. I can increase it much more if I want some much more effects in here. Something about, for example, 16,000 candela, something like that. And now it's worked like the sphere light, not the, uh, for example, the spotlight, but the result is completely good and I can change the color of it. So. Everything is good for me right now, and I think only I need some sharp and clear render for my job, so I will maximize the uh, Enscape in here, and increase the uh, exposure about 64, and everything is done, rendering quality on the Ultra mode, and I want to render this job. So I will click on the uh, screenshot bottom in here, and save it on my downloads or desktop and save it as the uh, jpg and press save as you can see it takes a little bit time and after that we can see the final result and great job of the enscape for this simple house so if you like this video please like and subscribe our youtube channel and this is the final result you can see in here Thanks for your watching and goodbye.